you can see, it's just me. Uh, Mike is not here right now. Um, and as usual, when Mike's not here, I'm doing a beer brewed with coffee. Um, Mike's okay with beer that has coffee in it, but if I, it, it seems like if the beer actually uses the word coffee on the label or in the description, that throws them off. So it's kind of like me with onions. If it's something that says it has onions in it, I'm like, nope. But if, if I don't doesn't say it has onions and I don't really notice them, I'm fine. But then once I notice there's an onion in it, then it's like, oh, the whole thing tastes like onions. It's mental, right? Probably, most likely. Um, so this is uh, Evil Twin Brewing's Even More Jesus. Um, this is their uh, 12% Imperial Stout. Um, I haven't had this beer, but I've heard good things. And I um, I bought the can and it was 12%. I was like, oh, I guess I could just drink this on a Saturday night, chilling, watching a movie, and that'd be the only beer I'd have. But then um, I was watching All Things Beer 510. He reviewed Double Bear of Jesus. Um, he just posted it last night, and I was like, well, I do have that in the fridge. I guess I could just review it. And hey, yeah, this is a brewed, beer brew with um, chocolate, coffee, dark fruits. Well, not brewed dark fruits. Aromas of chocolate, coffee, dark fruits, and muscovado sugar. Don't know what that is, but uh, let's try it. Let's give this a pour. That pours very dark in about almost a finger of dark khaki head. Let's get a nose. Mm, getting a lot of, definitely a lot of roasted malts. Coffee, lots of coffee. Again, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bitterness, like the sweetness. It's probably like a little bit of the chocolate sweetness, but like I'm getting more, I'm getting more of the roasted malts, more of the coffee on the nose. I'm getting a decent amount of booze now that now that I'm really getting a good a good nose on it. Yeah, coffee, booze, a little bit of bitterness, chocolate. Let's dig in. Cheers. You're seeing that and you're tasting that 12 percent for sure. Um, dark roasted malts, same thing on the nose. Um, a good amount of a good amount of the coffee is like given like to this like chocolatey bitterness, so it's like a sweet, sweet coffee um, feel. But you're still getting a lot, a lot of booze. Yeah, that is, it's, yeah, it's fudgy, brownie batter, but you just get smacked with the booze. This is just, this is a ballsy stout. A, man, 12%. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have, uh, <laughs> if I shouldn't have actually popped this this afternoon. Uh, uh, Sunday afternoon, 12% beer. I don't know if that was the smartest move on my part. I'll be drinking this for most of the afternoon, though. By the magic of video wedding, I have sat here and let this warm up a little bit, and, uh, Mouthfeel is a lot smoother, a little thicker now that it's, that it's warmed up. Um, I'm getting more fudgy, brownie, um, sweeter um, flavors. Still boozy. You're still getting the 12%, like 12%. Like this is sold in, this was sold in four packs when I saw it. Like, I don't know what would you do if you bought a four pack of this? Like, would you crush these in a night and just dead the next day? I don't know. Um, this is a Baldi stout. I'm really looking forward to trying the other ones. Like, I usually, for some reason, I like Evil Twin, but I pass them up a lot because they're so easy to get here. And I'm like, oh, they'll be here next week. And it's it's really weird. I don't know. Um, definitely try it. If you're into stouts, you're into stouts with coffee. Um, it's not barrel aged, but it's still an imperial stout, and it's still badass. It's boozy, it's sweet, it's delicious. Everything melts together. You're gonna get, you're gonna get a lot of alcohol if you're not you're not a big person of the alcohol. I'm like, stay away. But don't stay away. Just try. So, yeah, it. I would try. definitely recommend this. Um, Please like, subscribe, comment, um, let us know what you think of this. Um, yeah, Evil Twin, Even More Jesus, 12% Imperial Stout, tastes delicious. I'm Sean, and this is Nerd Sense Drinks. Cheers. <laughs>